Hey everyone, and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at tables. Now, tables uh, can be very useful in HTML as they allow you to basically display information in a structured format, okay? Think of spreadsheets where you can have uh, rows, columns, and headers to basically display information. That's basically what a table is. Now, it's important to note that we don't use tables for uh, layouts of your website. That used to be the go-to method, but nowadays we have CSS, which allows us to create style sheets and basically structure our website that way. Okay, so to begin with tables, what we're gonna do is of course create the table tag. So for this, I'm gonna create a new tag called table here. And we also need to create the closing tab as well. Now the way tables work in HTML is that we have rows and we then have data in those rows. So basically cells in that row. Okay, so we first of all have to define a table row. And to do that, we create the TR uh, tag right here. So I'll create the closing TR tag here. And then inside of this table row, we create our table data pretty much. We create the cells of this table. So let's just say we want three cells across and maybe we want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, for that, we'll go TD for table data. And here we can give a name to this cell or give content to this cell. So in here, I'm gonna go Monday, close that out with TD and then create another one here. We'll call this one Tuesday, close that out. And finally create a, another one here and call that Wednesday. Now, if we go ahead and click on the run button, you'll see that we have created a table. We have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, okay? But it doesn't really look like a table. It just looks like we've been laying out text uh, horizontally. Well, now what we can do is start putting data into this table, creating more rows, and it will automatically align it so that we have the cells lined up with each other. And I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this table row and it's table data children here. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it below like so with control C and control V or command C, command V if you're on a Mac. So for this second row here, we're gonna have some data. So let's just say we have one, 22 and 33. Okay, we click run and you'll see here that this text is now automatically aligned to the, uh, to the cells, to the rows. So we have this sort of structured table uh, data. We can go ahead, do the exact same thing, create another row here, uh, go 1, 22, uh, 33 here, run that. And as you can see, it lays it out like so. So we're creating our individual rows, and then inside of each row, we are specifying, uh, first of all, how many cells there are. In our case, we have in three cells, and then we are putting data in each of those cells. What's a good idea is to have table headers, and these table headers are generally used for the top cells, uh, just so they sort of stand out from the rest. Uh, so what we can do is instead of going TD, we can go TH, okay? So I'm just gonna copy and paste and replace these ones right here to be TH for table header. And if I run this, you'll see that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are bold, okay? They're the table headers. And a lot of this, uh, it might not be the easiest thing to understand the structure of this table. So generally when working with tables, a good idea is to be able to see the border of the table. And to do this, we can go up to our table here and add in the border attribute. And this is basically going to allow us to see the border. Okay, we can hit run. And as you can see here, we now have the table border. We can see where each of the cells are and you can see that the cells resize to fit the largest element. You can see Monday is about the size of that text, but Wednesday here is larger than Monday and Tuesday. And if the numbers here were larger, they would also expand the cells, okay? So these are dynamically sized cells that can change based on the contents they hold. So that is just a quick look at tables inside of HTML. Uh, they can be very useful for displaying information. If you have data that you wanna display on your website, that's a great idea. In the next lesson, we are going to be looking at how we can begin to structure our HTML websites. Okay, so I'll see you all then in the next lesson.